Greetings, survivors, and welcome back to the Cataclysm. And, of course, to Brutus Salazar, who has been spent, uh, spending the last couple of days just uh, fuddling around trying to set up a proper forge and a proper charging station. There we go. Thank you. Now then, we've got our crucible. We've got a lot of things, actually. What's next? Anvil, I believe. Now, we're going to need an electric forge or a charcoal forge with 150 charges. We've already got the crucible. And we're going to need a good many chunks of steel. Thankfully, we have a good many ch uh, chunks of steel. Unfortunately, what we don't have is uh, the charcoal kilns set up. So, with that in mind... Uh, where are you? Two, where, can I not? Oh. Alright then. Let's, uh, kiln. Build a charcoal kiln. We can, oh, wow, okay. I can't see the crap. <sighs> One of those days. Can I grab a 2x4? I only need one, realistically, for this. Uh, drop that down here. I'm going to need to grab the vampire drill, of course. There we go. We should be able to see... Well, maybe we can't actually from there. Fill a d... Pine bows. Do exactly the same. That's fine. Right, activate this. And drop it. Uh, we'll just drop it over here. And do the same thing with this one. Like this. Where are you? And drop it down there. Perfect. That gas mask is doing amazingly, by the way. It says it's active, and yet I'm just not... I don't seem to be using it. Uh, right. So, we've got two charcoal smokers in here. Could we break the other one down, I wonder? What could we break it down into, if we can break it down at all? One pilot light, scrap metal, one metal tank. Yeah, let's, let's do it. We don't need two of them. Two is just too many. There we go. And we'll keep the metal tank. Put that over there. There we go, then. Right, so it's going to take us a little while to get the uh, charcoal. That's perfectly fine. So the next thing for us, then, is to consider building a welding rig. Now, we could build a welding rig on this vehicle. Alternatively, we could build a welding rig onto its own vehicle. And I'm, I'm not sure which one I would prefer for that. Uh... The truth of the matter is, if we built it onto this, then we'd probably want to stick a car battery on it as well. The battery would hold the charge as long as the battery's in a, a decent decent state. But we would need a much larger frame for that. So I'm going to say no. And in fact, let's go ahead and make a frame. Two wooden frames, I think, would be fine. That would facilitate a forge. It would also facilitate a... Um, a welding rig. If we really wanted to, we could also make a food cool buddy. Let's make three. Do I have... a uh, food? I don't. Can I make one? I'm fairly certain I can. I need a water purifier, a food processor, a hand press and die set, a food dehydrator, a vacuum sealer, or a makeshift vacuum sealer, and a steel frame. I have none of those things. Which is a bit of a pain, but no, I can't make a vacuum sealer. We may be able to find one of those around the place, though. If I were to build one of these, I could, for example, build it. Oh, uh, yeah, I could build it in this space, honestly. Okay, let's uh, let's deconstruct something. I'm going to deconstruct this. When are we going to deconstruct this chair? Of course, we're going to pick all of that up and move it around so that it's uh, nice and tidy in here. 
Ah, of course, we made we made fancy chairs. That's why we had a lot of rags. I keep forgetting that uh, Princess Salazar, for a survivor in the Cataclysm, is leaving, leading a rather charmed life. Honestly, yeah, things are going well for, for Princess Salazar. Things are going decidedly well. Perhaps too well, really. It might be making him soft. But it is time for us to begin a... Not a chain link fence, no. Uh, we want a vehicle construction. Right about here. Enter the name. Um, workshop units. Yeah. I want to grab it, push it, pull it. There we go. So now I know which way it's facing. And if I install another wooden frame here. No, 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 no. What did I make that other frame out of? That was made of an extra light bulb. Uh, not what I wanted to do. I'm carrying some wooden frames, am I not? Oh, did I not make them? Perhaps I didn't. Ah, uh, you know what happened? It was probably too dark. There we are. Let's go ahead and make three wood frames. Thank, thank you. Actually, let's just. Can I grab them? New. No. Can I make it? Normally, I'll just grab one of them. Pop that in my inventory. Drop that right about here. Now, let's see if we can do that. Vehicle construction in this direction with the wooden frame. Now, work units. There we go. Now, what I'm doing here is I'm pushing it down, so now it's facing straight down, and I'm pulling it back up. It's now facing my direction because it moved with me. So now I know if I place this here, which is always the direction the vehicle is facing, like so, and it doesn't matter how it looks. Uh, let's go for that one. That should be in the right position. Yes, it is marvellous. Uh, however, this does necessitate moving some things around, I feel. Let's get rid of this furniture now. We don't need it any longer. So we'll grab all of those. Also all those nails. I want to keep everything nice and tidy, obviously. And drop those off. Scan. There we go. Two by those. Now, I'm very thirsty. I'm very hungry. Uh, Princess has been working very hard, bless him. He deserves some tea. And then, in terms of food... Sure, let's uh, get some 2 by 4s Just one. We'll make some noodles, I think. It is by far better to make this as I need it, rather than in large amounts. Otherwise, I'm just going to end up with a huge amount of uh, perishable food. Uh, let's make some noodles. Um, Yeah, let's go for raw spaghetti then. Oh, I can only make one. Hmm. I might need to make some more flour soon then. There we are. And eat those. That did not help. Okay. Uh, let's see. Drinks we don't need. Could make some Johnny cakes. Yeah, we got a decent amount of portions, so sure, okay. Let's eat those. They're nice and hot as well. There we are. And we should be good. Right. Are they ready? Is this good? It's still burning. Very well. Drop those off. Alright, so the next thing I want to do is move everything that is currently on this tile to this tile. Just out of the way, 
So I can continue work on the vehicles, but uh, I'm not going to get in the way when I place down the wooden frames. So there we are. Our wooden frames are set up. Now, the first thing that we're going to want to do is place on this a vehicle rig. Uh, sorry, a welding rig. Or an electric forge once we get the opportunity to make one. Again, the vehicle forge rig requires one electric forge. All we need for that is eight heating elements. Quite nice. Um, but we've got a forge for the time being. Let's have a look at the rigs that we can make. So the welding rig, we need, yeah, we need a steel frame. That old chestnut. All right. I guess we could take apart the current vehicle, the generator, and see what we've got. What are you? You're a wooden frame. You're a frame. So, I am afraid or all of this is coming out. And then that's going. There we go. Boink. Now, if we go ahead and make a new frame. Because ultimately the generator it doesn't need to, to worry uh, about any of this exam vehicle. I want the frame behind it. Install wooden frame. Womp. There we go. Now we want to install all of the things that we, we have by here, which is frustrating. So the engine, the generator, the motorbike, battery, and the casters. So, motorbike battery. The... Uh, let's see... Uh, nope, we don't want that. Where are the casters? I do not see the cast. Oh, there we are. Uh, we also want the generator. Where are you? Not down there, you are not. Um, I am not seeing that generator, and that is making me making me quite worried. Right there. Hmm. Why is this not? Oh, the generator can't be installed until I pop the one cylinder engine on it. Yes, because it, it doesn't make sense for there to be an alternate. That has to be attached to the engine that's on that space. So that, that does actually make a lot of sense when you stop to think about it. So there we go. Then we can install the generator. There we are. A lot of it just comes down to the, to the order in which you install things. I would also like the uh, controls here. Vehicle controls. Whomp. There we go. Are all of that set up now? Excellent. And we've got weld. A vehicle welding rig. We use the steel frame, the soldering iron. It's going to be quite nasty, but uh, it will count as a soldering iron, I believe. If it doesn't, we're going to have to hunt for a new soldering iron. But I'm willing to do it. Uh, please tell me I still have my welder. Have I got my welder with me? Yes, I have. Whew. I thought we lost it for a moment. Can't see the crap. Of course I can't. Rig. Nope. Okay, so I'm going to need to light a fire again. Don't worry. It's fine. We've got enough 2x4s to build several battleships, sink them by ramming them together, and then build more out of the scrap. So it's not going to be an issue. And there we are. We've got our vehicle welding rig. Now I'm thinking of the things that we're going to want. We're going to want a forge. We are going to want a vehicle welding rig. And we are going to want a, a, a food coat buddy. 
and a mini fridge probably at some point but uh, those things can wait the main one the chief of them all is the welding rig there we are let's get you installed Whomp. there we go now it has no power so you know the, the issue there so what we're going to want to do is have a look at all of these car batteries we've got one decent car battery another decent car battery for any others small storage battery storage battery case uh, we've got two car batteries and and probably a one or two other things as well uh all right well let's grab this car battery and apply my welder to repair it up to its highest possible level there we go and actually apply that repair something else is there anything else around is that one already fully upgraded? I believe it is. That's fine. Drop the new car battery and activate this. So we want to install a car battery right here. Womp. Install car battery right there. Womp. I mean, these are not amazing as, as, uh, as you've seen. The car batteries that you can get elsewhere are much better. But this is now a fully functioning soldering item. Uh, one way to test that would be to try and craft something that requires a solder. Uh, I believe the mods under weapon category would be those. Uh, let's see. Yeah, there we are. There we are. We have a we have a, a base uh, setup soldering iron and welder. Now the other thing we can do is we can remove this. We can take it with us if we need to. It's not hard. Uh, if we have a look here and want to take it out, I can just pull that out, put it in the other car, and we're good to go. I am extremely happy with that. And I can use this welding rig to uh, in, the, in the same way that I, I use my current welder. I am going to keep this one, though, as, as, a, as a mobile welding rig, I guess, as it. Uh, in fact, with that done... Honestly, it makes some sense. If I wanted to install a rig in here, could I? Do we have an option of installing a rig here? Uh, stereo system? No, not what I want. Vortex engine? No, definitely not what I want. Okay. Can I install it over here? If we had one. All I'm looking for right now is, uh, oh, if we go to the uh, filter, it'll let us see only the things that would fit on this tile. And what I'm looking for is the red ampersand. Uh, a plow, I could put one there. Very well, no. Well, what we could do then is if we intended to do any of that kind of work, I could uh, perhaps remove... Hmm. Could even perhaps remove the UPS compatible recharging station. That would be an interesting choice. Hmm. You know what? I think that might be a good idea. Alright, alright, we're going to do that. And instead, I'm going to get the welder out, close that. I'm going to remove the UPS charging station, as is. I'm also going to remove the trunk. Let's take that out. Steel frame. We can bring that up here. There's plenty of things that'll use it. Uh, I'm going to install the UPS charging station here. Now, where are you going to live on this list? Uh, oh, actually, we would need... Actually, we'd need the trunk. We would need a trunk there, or, or a box. Uh, we probably would get away with a box, actually. So, let's look for cargo. Heavy to use the stowboard. How much capacity has that got? Yeah, that's reasonable, actually. Stowboard, trunk. We would be using sheet metal. Oh, just uh, a floor trunk. Hmm, maybe. Uh, 
I need to use the stove board with the a welder 50 charges still. Uh, opaque. Boardable. So it would be more like a cupboard at that point. Yeah, there's, there's something something about that I wouldn't mind doing. Uh, 47,500. Wait. Durability. Uh, okay, it's just the durability that changes. Let's go ahead and install that. We'll have this be a stove board right there. Uh, we'll use the welder nearby, which has significantly more charges. So there we go. We've now got a, an actual cupboard that uh, is opaque. Eh, is that really what we want? I don't know. I can't move through this anyway, though it isn't as opaque. But if we uh, look to the side now... Uh, if we install the UPS charging unit there... Let's go and find you. Here we are. Perfect. We can now drop the welder on there. Should I... I wished it. Uh, that is actually pretty awesome. Let's grab you. Carry you up. This is not going the way I was expecting it all to go, but I'm actually pretty pleased with it. Uh, we'll drop off the batteries that I've got with me. Now, in here... What I'm going to want there... Install some sort of um, aisle, I guess. Or a board. Uh, no, that's opaque. Uh, yeah, basically I'd, I'd want an aisle. So I just need some sheet metal and a welder. Okay, let's go and grab some sheet metal then. That should not be a problem. Uh, is there any sheet metal here? Yes, there is. I need my welder as well. There we go. And so we will install just a regular aisle here. Oh, well, actually... A the floor trunk might not be too bad, but... No, I think an aisle would be better. And then we'll install the welding rig in the future should we need to. So if I install an aisle right now... Bump. There we are. And let's see if I could remove the welding rig and then install it over there. There we are. Pick up the welding rig, wield it. All I want to do is see if I can install this. I can install nothing there. Hmm. Have I got any charge on the... Well, yeah, I've got plenty of charge. So what I would need to do is remove the aisle. Huh. Then install... Well, then I could install the welding rig. Okay, well, we'll need to move things around a little bit then. Uh, that's it's not grand, certainly. I think we'll just keep a trunk there for now. So, yeah, we'll install the welding rig here. I know, I'm going back and forth, but uh, I've never really tried this particular setup, so you're learning alongside me right now. For better, always. Right, we'll install just a regular trunk there. Just so that we've got a massive amount of uh, storage capacity. But the next thing I would like to do, and this might uh, seem a little bit crazy, we're going to remove a solar panel. There we go. And pick these two up. Use the car. Now, what's the charge on the car? Yeah, it's decent. What we want to do instead, have a look at you. Now, can I install... A solar battery, a st uh, solar panel. Here, I can. I can indeed. Marvelous. Let's go ahead and do that. There we are. And we'll drop off the welder. Let that get fully charged. Now, let's uh, take you outside. like it if I could... Oh, I can. Oh, isn't that marvellous? 
no, no, no. One over here. There we go. Interesting that this can actually uh, move over those tiles. Very interesting, actually. That'll do. Let's pop you there. I'm going to get items on ground, metal tank of water, wield it, replace that right here. Yeah. Then I would like to remove the brazier, please. But I'm going to have to move you first, don't I? Uh, sorry, not the brazier, the uh, funnel. Yep. Leather funnel. Thank you. And apply the leather funnel right there. That being said, I could, as it happens, install the funnel on this. And have it fill a, a liquid tank inside the generator. Honestly, at this point, I don't actually need the uh, the wheels. For the time being, I think it's okay to have them, though. It, it probably will be useful. Right, I want jumper cables, specifically. So, jumper. Oh, no, 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 no. Filter. Jumper. There we are. Right, let's apply a jumper cable. Attach, attach to a vehicle way. This one. Overextended cable breaks this. Damn it. Apply. Jump over to this. Drat. Drat, damn, and blast. So we've built that in the wrong place then. Uh, alternatively, we could take down all of these... Um, these lockers. And rebuild... The the uh, construction that we've got just on the other side of this wall. That would make sense. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to have to do then. Oh, that's going to be a bit of a potch, isn't it? Okay, well, at least we know what we're doing now. So we've got all of our tools in there. At this point, then, we, we really need to just get rid of everything that's here. Is there anything here that I care to keep? Don't think there are. Let's just go through, though. That's the case. No. Everything dies. Uh, disassemble everything. Whomp. Is there anything there now? And... That's up all I can. There we go. There's going to be... A rum oh, oh, that's actually pretty good. I was a little bit... Surprised. Uh, okay, so we've got a bunch of items there, actually. Okay, let's grab the folded swagon and quickly move all of this onto there. Or at least all of these, because those have use to me. So, we want to reset the filter. Rags, plastic chunks, Nomex patches, leather. Is Kevlar plate being stored here? Should be realistically in felt patches. Uh, it might not be, though. It's Kevlar over here, then. Or simply, we ran out of it. That's also very, very possible. Uh, can't see to craft. Can I break these things down? Yeah, I'm gonna need to gonna need to activate my head torch for this one. Tool belt. Where's the head torch? There we are. Right, floor. Sure, break that one down. And break down the tie clip. Sure. So it's quite nice on it, to be fair. Uh, all of those. Can I butcher anything else? No, I can't. Okay. Well, that's fine. We can turn that off now. And we'll drop off the silver here. And the scrap metal for that matter. And a little patch. And the sheet metal can go in there. And we are going to eat some junk cakes. And then some herbal tea. Thank you very much for all this wagon. 
At this point, all of this stuff is, in some way or another, just basically not breakdownable. So we're just going to dump it all over here. Oh my lord, there's a lot of things in there, aren't there? Pop all of that in there. There we go. Now then, with that done, time for me to deconstruct this furniture. And then reconstruct it over here once I can see. Uh, I have to turn that back on, unfortunately. Oh! Hmm. I appear to be... Oh, why did I do that? You see, I could have just dragged it. But of course, very derpy. Uh, I would like to build a metal locker. Why can I not do that right now? Let's have a look at the furniture. Metal locker. Oh, they're lacking pipes. Oh, uh, well. That I was not expecting. That I was not expecting. Ah. Uh. Although that is quite the problem. To be honest, this locker here had... It felt a little bit weird to have it, because we have a locker for, for clothing that I'm, I'm not taking out with me. So we're just going to move all of that across there instead. Then we are going to grab this locker. And hopefully... No, it is way too heavy for me. Very well. We need to empty some of the stuff out of it. Then, so, whomp. And we'll just move this all across onto the um, area there. And fortunately, it's hitting all of these. Oh, of course, it's now it now contains all of those items because logic. Yeah. There we go. Perfect. Right, so all of these items should realistically be moved across. Let's one there, and then these ones as well. And then I just want to take the pipes out and the sheet metals. Okay. Now the problem here is that we've got a very large container of pretty much everything. What are we going to do with that? Where are we going to move that one, I wonder? Of course we don't strictly need to move it. We could just have the constructions that we've got right now and then build up to that. Mm, that's certainly possible. Let's remove this for now then. Can I drag this? I can. There we go. Well, that is fantastic. Okay, I would like to install the car battery here then. Womp. And this wooden frame. We'll go down there. I think we are just about to be finished. Activate the jump cable. There and there. Attach a loose end of cable. There we go. Uh, do I have... Oh, I had a jump cable 3. Oh, if I had more, I might have been able to, to move around. You link up the electric systems of the portable generator and the work units. And there we go. We now have a generator that will naturally charge itself. And... We'll pass that charge along. That is fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. So, with that, I'm going to go ahead and control it. And turn on the engine. Portable generator's engine startup. That's going to just gradually build up charge now. And as you can see, it's building up the charge very quickly. We can just leave a little bit. Now, this is what I was talking about in regards to the way alternators work. 
uh, previously, and I, I, I had a, uh, at least one person in the comments um, say, well, that, that, that doesn't make any sense. That's absolutely not how an alternator works. Alternators draw power. I know in the real world, they simply act on the engine as the engine is, is running. But in this, the, the, the mechanics of the game is the alternator draws power from the engine. So the engine will, will rev up, even if it's not moving, if, if you're not actually, it's got no wheels and it's not being told to go forward. If there are alternators on it, they will create a demand for the engine to satisfy. So the engine will start consuming fuel to satisfy that demand. And that's how they generate power. As we can see, that is already 100%. So now, if we have a look at this one, it'll start filling up. So we've got one car battery at 18% and one battery at 8%. If we pass a little bit of time, let's uh, say five minutes, have a look, another look, 48 and 18, and it will now just gradually charge all of that up, and that is fantastic. Uh, I think we can go ahead and remove these frames at the back of the vehicle. And by the time that we've done that, I would strongly suspect... Am I carrying around a lift candle or something? No, I'm not. But uh, for some reason, this tile is lit. Not sure why. Uh, go and drop down the frame. How's the end? Yep, yeah, it's fine. So we want to turn off the generator now. And that's it. We now have our own power in the house. That's absolutely wonderful. We don't have much storage. But if I really wanted to, I could put lights on this. That is absolutely a thing that I could do. Are there any controls here? No, there are no controls. Well, how about we add some controls then, shall we? We've got the UPS compatible recharging station. Car battery. Let's install controls over the UPS station. I think that'll be fine. There we go. And at this stage, if we wanted to, we could we could daisy chain these these units around. Like I could have one here that was specifically a light. Uh, it had its own control that I could turn on, turn off, and in fact that's a rather tempting proposition. Uh, you can also install tanks on on any anything. In fact, if, if we wanted to, we could have just the tanks installed on this that we could then use to pour the water in. Certainly, once we have the food co um, system, it'll make sense to have a, a, a water tank that is a uh, clean water tank with a faucet on it, and I can just gather the water from that. But uh, right now, this is wonderful. Uh, if I want to control the vehicle, turn on the dome lights, turn on the recharger, which I'm going to need to do. There we are. And we'll turn on the dome lights. There you go. So I've got a little bit of lighting there now, no matter what. I don't really need that, so let's turn it off. But if we have a look, it'll probably have lost a little bit of power already. In fact, I think that's probably because the welder is charging up. But there we are. And because we have the gener generator outside with solar on it, then this is basically now free. We are going to want to make an electric forge, rather than have to run charcoal. Uh, that is going to require that I make the electric forge. Oh, there we are. It's actually there. So I just need eight heating elements. I think we should be able to get those. Can I make them? No. No. What would have a heating element that I could break down? How many heating elements do we have? I've only got three. Okay. Um, has anything got heating elements in it? No. Let's have a look at the various tools that we've got then. Uh, is anything here likely to have a heating element in it? Uh, the makeshift welder will. Yes. And that is currently straight down, I should imagine. So let's have a look for you, makeshift welder. Let's take you out. Uh, we'll stand up here. Like to disassemble the makeshift welder. Three heating elements from that. 
Yes, please. There we go. And we'll drop those off. Now, do we have enough? Forge. No, it was eight, not six. Right. Okay, anything else we've got that might have a heating element of some sort? Let's have a look through other... Light strip. That won't. Light strip black box won't. Um, no, 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 no. No, it doesn't look like we are going to have one. That is a bit of a shame. Okay, well, we're going to need to go and find some heating elements then in that case. That is quite the shame, actually. Uh, we needed them, though, to make the the welding rig. And by far, that is the better item to have. Unless we can get it out of... These. No, it's not going to have a heating element in, in there. Uh, if we got anything over here that might have a heating element in it. Vehicle controls, nope. Headlights, nope. Um, let's see. Nope, I don't think so. Uh... No, that's that's rather a shame. Uh, though, no, uh, uh, obviously an engine isn't going to have something that is a heating element. It it have a spark plug, but it's not going to have a heating element in it. All right. Well, that is that is quite the shame. We're going to need to go and hunt and break down some. Cookers. Not a big issue for us, though. Once that's done, we'll have an electric forge. And at that point, we can get rid of this here um, counter. In fact, we might want to move that now somewhere else. Uh, we could pop it over here without too much issue. Uh, let's see. It's going to be too dark for me to see right now, but let's uh, just go and find a counter. At uh, 6 to really? Do I not have the nails for that? You can't be serious. I refuse to believe that you're telling me the truth. Nope. Nope, nope. Nope and nope. In fact, we're just going to break this stuff down because we don't need this here at all. There we are. Let's grab you. And let's put everything into the swagon. And sure, we'll deconstruct this as well while we're here. Then we can build the counters that we want. Yeah. So, with that done... We can make a map... Actually, we can make a, uh, a locker now. Uh, we don't want one of those, though. I think uh, a counter would be more than enough. We'll place one there. And we are, well, actually, maybe a cupboard would be a better option. Mm. Yeah, let's go with the, the cupboard. Uh, so we're going to want to break that one down, unfortunately. So I messed up a little bit. And I have to grab these items, otherwise it'll complain that there's something in the way. And a cupboard. Right there. Yeah, use the ones on my person. And we'll drop the rest in here. Now... Uh, I don't believe you can rotate anything in this game, unfortunately. So that's just going to have to look that way. But it uh, shouldn't be too much of a problem now for us to move all of this across. So let's go ahead and do that. There we go. And all of that up there. Marvellous. And then we can take this one down as well. And we're good to go. All right, I think this has been a pretty awesome episode, actually. I think we've done a fantastic amount of work and have massively, absolutely, enormously upgraded our base. 
I'm really happy with that. And I would like to drop these off down here. There you are. Let's pull this wagon. Can uh, just loop it there for now. In fact, since we are moving more or less everything down here, and this is this is kind of what I was meaning. This is enough for me to just live in this room. Everything is where I need it. There's there's no particular reason to to have anything more fancy than this. And so you de you do definitely uh, feel it a little bit when there's massive uh, rooms like this one with three quarters of it I'm not using, but a mansion is full of rooms like this one. So, yeah, living in a mansion, far more than necessary. Far, far more than necessary. Let's install a wooden frame right back back there. There we are. And you know what? Sure. Let's install. See if we can find it. Have we got a headlight? Have we got a headlight? Heavy duty board? No, no. Headlight? There we are. Womp. Shoes facing. I would like the facing to be up there. Additionally, I would like... Oh, wow, the car... Ba oh, it's because I'm using the... the oh, no. It'll be because of the... Welder. Now, at this point, actually, it's 25% full on one battery. I wonder. Let's give it uh, 30 minutes. Down the vehicle. There we are. It's actually topping up. Also, I'm fantastically thirsty. Oh, my lord. I, I, I get like that in real life, honestly. I just get so focused, especially if I'm coding. If I'm co I tell you what. Having, having a, a housemate is, frankly, a necessity when you're me. Because if it wasn't for Lady Sheila, occasionally checking in on me, he's like, you haven't made any noise recently. You're still alive. And I'm there. Pra uh, just a, a sh shriveled up husk. I haven't drunk in, in hours. Maybe even a day. I'm just huddled over my computer, writing code. Can't stop writing code. All, all I can think about are numbers and letters. And, and it's basically the matrix for me. Uh, I, you might just see see a procedural statement, you know, maybe a loop here and there. I'm seeing a lady in red dress. It's grand, uh, if a little bit worrying. Uh, right, so we've got a light. Now, what else would we like to pop in here? I don't think we've got any more batteries of, of any particular worth. I could put a clock. We'd know the time. Uh, I could use the, the wrist, wristwatch that I'm no longer using because, as you've noticed, I don't need a... a, a a wristwatch? I've got a pocket watch. What kind of madman would choose a wristwatch over a pocket watch? Uh, but we w I wouldn't mind having a clock. Uh, I will confess. That, that would be kind of nice. Can I put it here? Yes, I can. Marvellous. Marvellous, marvellous. I would love to be able to put a uh, stereo system here. I cannot, however. So this will have to do. But I think... Now, if we want to try, let's have a look. Can I turn on the headlights? <gasps> Let there be light. We've now got light. It's gl it's grand. It's marvelous. If I really wanted to, I could set one up on this side as well and have it shining across. I, I could easily have a, a jumper cable moving across to another unit just up there that, again, ha had a light uh, and would shine it across. But this light right there is more than enough for me. Ah. Uh, We've got power, everyone. The world is grand. I could have a stereo system, and it would make me happy. But we don't have time for that, so we're not going to. Uh, can I please use the charcoal kilns? There we are. And the other charcoal kiln, if it's available, or have I already done the other? Oh, uh, actually, yeah. need to disassemble this charcoal kiln first, don't I? A finished charcoal kiln. There we are. Thank you. I'll drop the, uh... Oh, it's already done. And we'll use this one. And once again, disassemble it. Only I can't see now. I know what to do about this. Turn on the headlights! Ah, oh, marvellous. And... I'll just go ahead and disassemble this one. Excellent. Drop them both. One, two, 
and then grab all that charcoal and drop it off down here. Uh, where are my tools? What's in there? Is that locker really empty? Ugh. Yes, it is. Because I'm an idiot. And I moved everything around that I shouldn't have. Oh well. Uh, let's just drop off all of the charcoal. We'll, we'll move those things around. It'll be fine. Uh, but for the time being, this is marvellous. And I am super duper happy. Right now, the outside uh, energy isn't enough. We'd need a lot more solar panels to make this viable. But for the time being, I think it's okay. We could now just grab a book if I wanted to. And just sit down for a little bit and see how long that battery will last. I'm hungry, but oh, well, maybe I should actually take care of that. I suppose. I suppose it's a thing that should probably be done, isn't it? Let's uh, grab two two by fours, drop those down, make ourselves some uh, nice food, feel that we deserve a reward for all of this hard work that we've gone to, and you know what? Sure, let's go ahead. Get some bee balm tea. We'll have six. I'm going to make it with clean water. I'm going to pour it into my water skin. Then, I'm going to make some herbal tea. I'm only going to make two of these. Thank you for the consumer. Yep, and then I'm going to pour the rest into... Where is the... The glass cup. There we are. Then, I'm going to make some food. And what kind of food are we going to make? We could... Ooh. Uh, make some cooked bacon, I guess. Yeah, alright. Let's uh, make some cooked bacon meals. Using the water nearby. Uh, no, don't stop. There we are. Eat the bacon meals. Apparently, I'm going to have to go to sleep. I was going to do a little bit of reading, but uh, apparently, no, that's not on the cards. Uh, what's the uh, battery like? It's pretty much entirely drained, and we are now. Drawing power from the battery outside. That's fine. It's okay. Let's just turn that off for now. Turn off the headlights. We're, we're done. Thank you very much. Uh, get items. Take the uh, charger out. Pop it down here. Actually, we'll, we'll start resetting up this little area over there, which is going to need all of the, uh, the tools of the, uh, the trade. But well, that's going to be it for me. Oh, I think we've done an amazing job today. Uh, I We will be expanding out that generator at the front. Probably another two tiles. And at that point, I'll take the wheels off. Get some solar panels. Um, we're not necessarily going to need more engines. That's not the way that'll work. We will want possibly more storage. But honestly, it's mostly just going to be the solar panels that we want. But Brutus Salazar... Has done far more than he should have on one sleep. It's time for us to settle down and just enjoy pleasant dreams about rebuilding the world one step at a time. Take care, everyone. <laughs>